Welcome back to NRM 638, Python Scripting for ArcGIS Applications, Spring Semester 2015. This is an e-learning class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. This week we're going to work with Python toolboxes. So here's an example of a Python toolbox, and you can create it in your Arc Catalog window. And if you look at Python toolboxes, they're basically all 100% Python, and they use classes. So for example, class toolbox, class buffer. I guess that's my last class. So what you need to do is understand classes as a first step in understanding Python toolboxes. So a class is a blueprint or template that's used to create an object. So an example might be an insert cursor. We use insert cursor to create this object called edit rows. And then that object that's been created will have attributes or properties, and it will have methods. So now we have this object that's been created from our class insert cursor. So if we press dot, Fields be the properties of this object, one property. And then we have a method associated with this object, and it's the insert row method. So the insert row method basically requires an input in order to execute that method. So we have classes that are used to create objects, and then we can use methods that the objects have or we can get properties of the object. So what you need to do is go to the Blackboard website and download test.py from this week's scripts folder. So this test.py will create a class and I just named it chat and typically whenever you create a class it starts with an upper case and then we'll assign it a property or an attribute. So right here you would assign, assign your name. So we're going to have one property associated with this class and then we'll have one method associated with this class. So the method will be called change name and it will take a new name and then our self.name property will become that new name. So whenever you see self that refers to the object itself. So what we're going to do with this class is create an object and that object will have a property dot name and it will have a method dot change name. So we'll check it for any syntax errors and then we'll run it. So we can name our object anything we want. I'll call it test one object. So now if we type in test obj dot, it will list the property that that object has and the function that that object has. So let's use the function. And then it tells us what that function requires or that method requires. So it requires a new name. And then you'd enter a string. So now what is that test object dot its name? What is that property? So that is the property of that test object. So let's make another test object, whatever you want. And chat is the name of our class. So that's the blueprint, which will assign a name property and a change name method to this new object. And then we could set our test two object dot change name. And then you would put in whatever string you want. So then we're going to execute that method on that object. And then what are all the properties that this object has? So dot so right now we've got one method and one property that this object has. So let's look at the name property. 
So the name property of this object is second name. Okay, so download from the Blackboard website the scripts folder for this week, test2.py. And test2.py is a little different, is that we'll have a special underscore, two underscores, init, two underscores. And that's a special function that comes with Python, and that is to initialize objects. So here we're going to initialize the object itself and pass what the initial name should be that to that object. And then we'll set the color property of that object to be green. And then our method is the same method that we used before. So let's make an object test1 is equal to chat. And then if I put in left paren, it tells me that class is expecting a name to initialize our object with. So we'll call this whatever you want to call it. Initial name. So now if we type in test one dot, what are the object properties and functions or methods? So it's got one method change name. It's got a initial name property and it's got a color property so what is the color property of this object it's green and then what is the name property of this object name property of that object is initial name and then let's use the function to change the name property of that object and then left paren and then it tells us that method requires a string and that will be the new name so then we could put in whatever you want to put in as a string. And then if we press the up arrow key, oops, I guess we can't do an IDL. So what is our test1.name property? So now we have that is the name property of that object. Okay, so if you go to the next video session, it's on the basics starting Python toolboxes.